Game three of the World Series between the Royals and Giants. The scene moving to San Francisco for this one. Tim Hudson at age 39 becomes the second oldest starting pitcher to make his World Series debut. He was opposed by Jeremy Guthrie for Kansas City. Jerron Dyson starting for the Royals in place of Nori Aoki. Lorenzo Kane moving to right field for KC. First pitch of the game is from Hudson to Alcides Escobar. It's driven deep to left field. It stays in the ballpark, but it'll go for extra bases. Escobar winds up on second with the leadoff double. Two batters later, Escobar on third, one out. Lorenzo Cain grounds out, but Escobar comes in to score, and the Royals are up one to nothing. Next batter is Eric Hosmer, grounded to first. Brandon Bell fields high throw to Hudson covering, but he makes the catch and is on the base in time for the out. You see it again, Hudson with a little leap. Top of the second, two on, no one out. Salvador Perez, line drive to left. Travis Ishikawa with a nice grab for the first out of the inning. Check that nice play one more time. Hudson appreciating the help. Next batter is Gerard Dyson. He grounds out into a 4-6-3 inning ending double play. Bottom of the second, Guthrie deals to Ishikawa, line drive to right, and Lorenzo Kane makes a beautiful catch to end the inning. A nifty catch by Kane out there in right field. Top of the sixth, one on and one out. Alex Gordon looks to add to Kansas City's lead. Swung on, driven to deep center field. Back goes Blanco, it's over his head and up against the wall. Escobar to third, he'll be waved home. The relay throw is very late. Alex Gordon drives in his 10th run this postseason, and the Royals lead 2-0. KCSP with the call. Hudson would get the next batter to ground out, and that would do it for him. Up next is Eric Hosmer, looking for some two-out magic against the new pitcher, Javier Lopez. Here it comes. Hosmer swings and a line drive base hit center field. Alex comes around third, he will score, and the Royals lead 3-0 in the sixth inning. KCSP with the call once again. Hosmer with an RBI on his 25th birthday. Bottom of the sixth, pinch hitter Michael Morse drills one down the left field line. It goes into the corner, and this is trouble. Brandon Crawford hustling around the bases. He scores from first. It's an RBI double for Morse, and the Giants are on the board. It's 3-1. That would do it for Guthrie. Later in the inning, runners on second and third. Kelvin Herrera deals to Buster Posey, who grounds out to second, but Morse comes in to score, and it's a one-run game at 3-2. Next batter is Pablo Sandoval, who grounds out to first inning is over. Sandoval would go 0 for 4 and in failing to reach base safely it snaps his 25 game postseason on base streak. Bottom seven Brandon Finnegan on out of the pen making history. He's the first player to play in the College World Series and MLB World Series in the same year and he strikes out Brandon Crawford to end the inning. And bottom of the eighth Wade Davis on out of the bullpen. Gregor Blanco bunting. Salvador Perez comes out in front of the plate. Fires to first in time to catch Blanco on a close play. You see it again. Blanco clearly out despite the slide. Top of the ninth, Jeremy Affel deals to Hosmer, who breaks his bat, hits one to the left side. Pablo Sandoval, nice bare hand over to first in time for the out. Sandoval, bare hand off the bounce. Excellent concentration by the Panda. Bottom nine, Greg Holland trying to shut the door. Hunter Pence, the last hope for the Giants. Ground ball to Holland. That should do it. Over to first, and the Royals now have a two to one lead in the series. Once again, that was KCSP with the call. Royals win 3-2. They snap the Giants' six-game World Series win streak at home. Holland earns his seventh save of the postseason. That ties an MLB record. Jeremy Guthrie becomes the first starting pitcher to win a World Series game without walking or striking out a single batter. Game four of the series is set for Saturday. But for more on the Royals' Game 3 win, here's Tim McMaster and Jeff Nelson. Thanks a lot. If anybody was worried about the Royals being able to play National League Baseball, they can forget about it. They were great in Game 3. They win it, and they did all the little things. Yeah, absolutely. They score first in the first inning. They get one run, and then they get two big runs to go up 3 nothing in the sixth. So the timely hitting, outstanding hitting, first hits like you mentioned earlier with Hosmer and Gordon, and then great pitching. You know, Guthrie did exactly what he needed to do. He had a 3 nothing lead going into the sixth inning. They had some you know comfort level there, and then you bring in that outstanding bullpen. Herrera was outstanding. Struggled a little bit, then Finnegan. How about Finnegan from the left side was key in that bullpen. They're going to wind up using him going forward, and then Davis, unbelievable, and then Holland. This is exactly what they've done all year, and also to get to the postseason, the World Series, they've been unbelievable. They're going to be using them again in 4-5, and five and hopefully to close it out here in San Francisco. Maybe the pressure swings back to San Francisco now as the Royals reclaim home field advantage.